welcome. I'm Lynn from L&J Goods, and as part of the IOD Spring 2024 release, I'm going to transform this dresser into a beautiful statement piece using the IOD Joie de Roses transfer. Transfers need to be applied to a clean, dry, wax-free, and dirt-free surface. So the first thing that I'm going to do is sand my dresser and get it prepped for paint. You can check the description box below for all the products that I have used in this project. I'm going to be using a paint with a built-in top coat. I'm choosing this type of paint so that I don't have to apply a finish over the paint. If you are using chalk paint, you'll want to seal that chalk paint with a clear polycrylic finish. When I first saw this transfer, I imagined the light coming from one direction behind the transfer. And so I chose colors and blended the background so that this beautiful golden yellow would pop through in some areas of the transfer. I'm using very random brush strokes and stippling effects so that I create lots of texture behind the transfer, almost like it's an old oil painting. Continue to layer these paint colors and build up the texture as I go along. Now that the base coat is finished, let's examine the transfer. One of the challenges that I'm going to have is to fit that transfer inside the width of the dresser. The Joie de Roses transfer has eight sheets. The transfer sheets are designed so that they match together. But for this project, I'm going to show you how I cut apart my transfer to make it fit on that dresser. I'll be sharing some tips on how I cut the transfer apart and how I layer it. Another awesome feature about this particular transfer is that it has the appearance of a crackle finish printed on the imagery. This is going to come in handy for me later when I try to apply this transfer around some curved surfaces. This video is part of the IOD Spring 2024 release. You'll find a playlist in the description box below linked to lots of different IOD creators who have done projects for this release. The first thing I want to do is take all of my transfer sheets out of the package and lay them out according to the original design. You'll be able to use the little guide with the images on the back of the transfer pack to assist with the layout. Then I'm going to go to my dresser and measure the center of the dresser on each of the drawers and mark those out with a chalk line. Then I'll begin the layout and placement of my transfer sheets. I tape them in place so that I have an idea about where I am going to need to trim and cut my transfers later. You can see that my dresser is narrower than the width of the entire transfer design. Apply the transfer to that dry painted finish with the applicator stick that comes in the package. These drawers have a raised trim finish around each of the outside edges. So I have to work my transfer around those little trim pieces. I work from one side of the transfer up and around the trim, then I press it into the space between the drawers and then continue to work my way up the transfer. You'll probably notice that when you're working around these kinds of trim pieces that there is going to be some cracking of the transfer itself. That is a natural occurrence and that's why I'm glad there's this built-in crackle imagery. Now that the center two transfer sheets are in place, I need to decide how I'm going to trim and layer the outside sheets so that they fit within the width of the dresser. 
I want to be sure that when I trim this transfer sheet that it makes sense and I try to follow along the shape of a flower or leaf. I use a Sharpie right on top of that carrier sheet. It's gonna make it much easier for me to trim this later. I've preserved the shape of that rose because I'm gonna be layering over this next piece that I apply and I'll use that rose in another spot. And so you can see that I've lined up that outside transfer sheet so that my bird is complete. I'll do the same thing on the other side of the dresser so that I preserve where the transfer joins together. And then I'll move up to the top area of the dresser. I'm gonna have a challenge here because I need to trim away the bottom edges of these transfer sheets and the outside edges along the sides of the dresser. I'll carefully lay them out to get a pleasing arrangement and then use my Sharpie to mark out the areas that I'm going to trim. Apply the transfers so that you are transferring the bottom most transfer page first. And then I'll apply the sheets that will layer over top of them. I can always use an extra cutout leaf or for example, this butterfly to layer over an area that might look a little bit wonky. Just remember that as you are trimming and layering a transfer sheet to fit into other spaces, the objective is to find the most natural placement. Once again, you can see here how I preserved the outside edges of those roses. I always keep the backing sheet handy in case I need to make any further adjustments and then my transfer won't stick to the transfer that's underneath it. Now I'm gonna to move to the outside corner on the right. and then apply the center section. Here I decided to layer one of the oranges underneath. By carefully trimming and choosing my layout, I have been able to preserve one entire sheet from the IOD transfer. It includes this beautiful bird, and I'm gonna show you a project which is linked below in that playlist using that leftover transfer sheet and some of the new IOD molds. Of course, these designs are so beautifully rendered just as they are, but what I want you to see is that with a little bit of thought and planning, you are able to cut apart and use the transfers to fit your own project. And now I'll go back with some of the extra pieces and create other layers or fill in any gaps that I need to on other parts of the dresser. After each transfer piece is applied, remember to burnish it completely for good adhesion. But now, what do you say? That's amazing. Came around the corner just to grab a tool and all of a sudden this is right there and it was absolutely awesome. Just blew me away. So much that I forgot what I came down here for. Is that right? Yes. <laughs>
it. I made that whole transfer fit oh. like into that space. So I had a lot of trimming. So it's all panelized in here. It is, but I, I cut and trimmed and I have this entire piece left to do on a piece of artwork or cool. a mixed media piece. I'll give that a 9.9995. Oh, thank you. The last step is to apply a clear polycrylic finish or wax over the transfer to seal it in place. It just happened naturally, this cracking. Um, is that part of the it's transfer? It's part of the transfer, that is cool. which is awesome because when I did get my own cracking going on, it blends right in. It's different than anything they've done yet. And there you have it. The Joie de Roses IOD transfer on a dresser, taken apart and put back together to fit on a dresser, which has become a beautiful statement piece. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. And don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think of this dresser. We can't wait to share more of the IOD spring release with you at lnjgoods.com or our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York.